like I said, I'll be showing you instead. Then, if you'd appreciate it, we'll go ahead. Uh, I'll send you some pictures of a bead with this particular style. This is uh, this is actually um, a technique, a beading technique. Then, if you can learn how to do this, you can now use it to form whatever it is you want to form with it. Now, let's get started on how to make this particular technique. Come down, come down. So, for this particular technique, we'll be needing a fishing line of 0.35. We have our needle. The needle is always in such it, size 11. And the beads here, this is crystal bead, size 4, and sand bead, size 2. Other things we'll be needing for the making of this work is the figure 8. If it's a single bead if you want it to be one you'll be needing a, a figure eight this is actually for single beads and there's something here bring down the video this thing is called a stopper this is it also but this is the golden one that is the silver one you actually if you're going to use a golden stopper if you're going to use a golden stopper then you use a golden figure eight and if you're going to use a silver figure eight you'll be using a, a silver stopper so let's get started on how to make this technique. Okay, the first thing you do is that you cut, I'll be cutting a little thread, uh, sorry, fishing line actually, since I'm just showing you how to make it. But if you want to do it, you make sure you cut a long one, make it long. But then, don't make it so long that when it tangles, you won't be able to lose it. So when you make it long, when you cut your fishing line, use your plier to make the tip of the fishing line flat you can also use your teeth to make it flat flat sorry using that sometimes is difficult i prefer using my teeth <laughs> to look like this so that it can easily penetrate through the needle This is it. When you fix it to the needle, you tie, you either tie, but if when you if tying and at the end you won't be able to lose it, use any bead. You can use the bead or any bead around you. What we call it a stopper bead to make a knot at the edge so that your work won't pull off through the bottom part of it. Then with your needle, we are starting now. You pick one of the sand bead one of the crystal bead pick it again for three times this is it it's three one two and three then use this needle and pass through the last sand bead as in the first one you actually fixed to get something like this forget about this one forget about this one it's what you use to stop it you get something like this then you pick five of the sand bead one two three four five this is five Then you pick five of it, pass it through the next sand bead. This is the next sand bead, so I'll pass it through it. You pick another five, two, three, four, and five. Pass it through the next sand bead. You pick another five, two, three, four, and five. Now, for this third one, you're going to pass it through from the next sand bead. Now, 
you pass through four sand bays. Through four. Four. So get something like this. Bring the phone down. My face doesn't matter. So get something like this. Then you pick one crystal bead. Count one, two, three, four, five. On the sixth one, you pass through the needle. Pass the needle through the sixth bead. You do this for three times. You count another one, two, three, four, five. On the sixth one, you pass it through it again. This is the third time. One, 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 two, three, four, five, six. I hear you. Okay. And I'm sorry, oh, my memory got filled up and it had to cut. So let me continue from where I stopped. Okay, where are we? I guess you saw okay let me go back I said you're going to pick this crystal bead three times you remember how I did the first the second this third one is still going to be the same so you count okay. one two three four five six on the sixth one you pass it through it so get something like this then did what you did before sorry do what you did before <laughs> pick five of these sand beads one two three four and five just as you counted as i counted before i'll count again one two three four five six for the second time Two, three, four, and five. You count again. One, two, three, four, five, six. On the sixth one, you pass it through. Remember, there is always something different about this one when it gets to the third one. About this sand bead. When it gets to the third one, one, two, three, four, five. There is something always, my dear. Please, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm having storage space pro uh, problem in my phone. So I was trying to explain before it cuts. I said there is something always significant about this third step when it gets to this sand bead. For the third one, you won't just count six and put it on the sixth one as we did before. What you will do is when you get to the sixth one, let's count. This is one, two, three, four five and six when it gets to the sixth one you pass it through it from that sixth one make sure they need to pass through four beads hope you're seeing this clearly from the sixth one then three other Do what you did before for the crystal bead you just count one two three four five six the same thing you do for this one one two three four five six pass it through on the sixth one the same thing if you count here is always the sixth one now let me repeat this sound bead for one more time there is no space in my phone please one two three Four, five. You count one, two, three, four, five, six on the sixth one. One, two, three, four, five. Pass it through on the sixth one. And you 
it counts again. One, two, three, four, and five. Remember what you have to do for this one. The third one, one, two, three, four, five, six. From the sixth one, pass it through four. You see? This is it. Let me do one more time. Since there's this space. I won't be explaining again. The places I'm putting it is on the sixth one. You know, since it has become part of me, I always know the sixth one. If you start doing it and try to observe it, you always notice that the sixth one is always the one you fix some as in the thread the fishing line passed through previously three four five you see the fishing line passed through this thing this is the sixth one if you count it you know that i'm not wrong so, Three, four, five. This is the sixth one. If you count it, you know that I'm not wrong. One, two, three, four, five. When you get to this one, I've explained it before. From the sixth one, make it to pass. This is the sixth one. Make it to pass through four sand beads. Just continue. Until you get the desired length. Don't worry, I'm going to send you different styles, different designs of this style. If you keep on doing it like that, you it will continue getting longer for five. This is always the sixth one. I told you it has become part of me, so I always know the sixth one. But if you start doing it and try to be observant, you also know which is always the sixth one. Mm 